Welcome to Bibi Knows Best. Hello everyone, I hope you're doing amazing. This week, I wanna to talk to you about the 10 habits that are stealing our possibilities to be successful. Yes, there is 10 habits that we all might have, some of them yes, some of them not, that they are just putting us away from our dreams. The first one is comparison. When we compare with others, we are really self-inflicting pain into ourselves. Huge amount of it. Ever since we are little kids, the system, the educational systems, is just comparing with each other. There is A students, there is B students, there is C students. Well, after, what we do is also comparing ourselves with others. And that is diminishing us and it's making us small. So this is one of the habits that we definitely need to eradicate for our lives to really have a better relationship with ourselves, to believe in ourselves. And this will help us at the end to really feel better and achieve our dreams. The second one is negative beliefs. We need to definitely stop that habit of negative beliefs. We all have a tendency, sometimes it's cultural, to be negative. And you see, if we are a result of our thoughts, and if our thoughts create our re reality, what is gonna happen at the end? That our reality is not gonna be uh, a good reality. It's not gonna be, we're not gonna like what we see in our lives because we have negative beliefs. I know how difficult it is because constantly we're not sometimes in control of our belief system. But the thing is, when we are conscious and we know that we have limited beliefs, sometimes about ourselves, sometimes about the world, sometimes if we're always thinking how difficult are things, things will be difficult. But if we really believe that it's easy, if we believe that everything is possible to achieve, then our reality is gonna be that, it's gonna be possible to achieve. So that's the second habit that we need to eradicate. Okay, number third, and healthy practice routines. All of us, we are a result of, of our routines. If you get up in the morning and the first thing that you do is to look at your phone and be reactive, just sending emails <laughs> right and left, just responding to everything that is happening. If you're just looking at the news and get scared about the things that are happening in the world, if you forget to just eat a healthy, yummy breakfast, because you're just running out of the door and you have no time for anything, you have no time for yourself, if you even don't breathe. All of these are habits, are bad habits. And I speak in other videos about routines, routines that I do, and it has changed my life. Like just getting up early in the morning, there is routines um, in the night too, which I will share with you. I promised you that before, and I promise you that I will definitely explain you my routines in the night. But just getting up uh, early and going to bed early, it's a life-changing experience. Little things, or just moving a little bit your body. So just make sure that these routines that you put in your daily life that is going to serve you. Okay, number four, crave for approval and validation. Hmm. We all wanna be loved. We all wanna be seen. We all wanna be heard. I know. I mean, I'm the first one. I love this. I'm so grateful that you're just looking at this video right now. But what is important is that if we give up our power, because we're always looking for the external validation without having our inner validation, we are gonna be feeling smaller and smaller and we're gonna be powerless. So one of the habits that we need to definitely eradicate is to constantly look in for people validation. We all, since we are little kids, of course we want the applauses, we want people to cheer for us, and it's great. But the first thing, cheer for yourself. Love what you do yourself. And then if somebody criticizes, take that like, you know, constructive um, criticism. This has been for me one of the most difficult habits to eradicate and I'm still working on it. I'm working progress. <laughs> the other one is, the fifth one is the lack of authenticity, following the crowd. We all are unique. We are special. So look for that special you. You are amazing the way you are. So if you're trying to be someone else, 
you're gonna really yeah, you might fit in, you might fit in, in what society is looking for, but just being you, it's much more exciting. We all have only one life, at least that we know, and this this one, and we need to live in the moment. So be authentic, be yourself, and just be a leader of your own life. Don't be a follower, be a leader, just be you. It's so exciting to be you. The next one is perfectionism. I dedicate a whole video about perfectionism and I refer to it if you wanna know more. The only thing that I'm gonna just tell you is, don't try to be perfect. Just try to be better each day. If you are better, that's amazing. That's amazing. That's all you have to do. Don't be so harsh on yourself trying to be perfect. Honestly, I suffer from many years of that and I'm still, I'm in rehab, recovering from that. So I share, pretty much things that they serve me to just get cured about that. So you could go back to that video if you want to and see what I say about that. The seventh one is procrastination. Yes, procrastination is to delay and delay things, to put off things. I will do this tomorrow. Yeah, I will do this tomorrow. That's incredible because that's fear. When you are just putting off things, you end up not doing them. And or maybe you don't do it right because it's the last minute and it's not good. So my advice is that if you don't really wanna do something or something that scares you, just do that the first thing. Mondays early in the morning, perfect day to do that things that you just don't like so much, that you like to put off, okay? Procrastination is the seventh. The eighth one is keeping toxic people in your lives. Duh, it's so important. You see, if you want to make changes in your life, if you want to be healthier, if you are surrounded by people who are not healthy and they're destroying their lives and they are self-destructive with their bodies, well, you are going to create resistance there. So it is important that you have a beautiful platform of people who think like you. If you are surrounded by negative people, who these people who always see the world like such a dark place and so scary, it's very difficult that if you're trying to be positive, it's like to pull you down. So definitely, I know that you might love them, that people might be in your family or your closest circle of friends, just keep a little bit of distance, love them in the distance, but remember that you are in the way for your dreams. You wanna be successful. Therefore, yeah, you have to be doing certain changes in your life, and one of them is eliminate these um, people, toxic people from your life. It's like that, yes. The next one, the ninth one, it's so simple, <laughs> so very simple. But for me, it's one of the most difficult habits to eradicate, and it's dehydration. Yes, so simple. You know, how many times the day goes and I just drink one glass of water? Yeah, we are water, <laughs> and water is emotions. So no wonder that sometimes we become reactive entities because when something happens, in reality, we are the hatred. So attacks our emotions because, yeah, we, we need water. So it is so important that we remember to drink water. As an entrepreneur, we are sometimes in our zone and we are so concentrated in doing this and doing that, that we forgot the simplest, which is drinking water. So yes, this is a habit that we have to eliminate and is to forget to drink water. So just go there and grab a glass of water. Yeah, you put place, just press pause, drink a glass of water and come back. And I tell you the 10th habit that we need to eliminate for our lives. And the 10th one is, you know what? Not forgiving yourself for your mistakes. Yes, we all make mistakes. We all make bad decisions. Yes, and we all have things that we might want to eradicate for our lives and that we wish we haven't done or said or think. But you know what? Just being compassionate with ourselves, to just apply into our life self-forgiveness, it's so powerful. So remember, it is okay to make mistakes. This is the school of life. That's what we're here for, to learn and to become better each day at a time. So forgive yourself for your mistakes, because if you're not able to let it go, this is really painful and it's just blocking your way to success. 
So forgive yourself. It's good to, you know, we all perfect in imperfection. So I just want to thank you so much for your attention. I truly, truly appreciate that you're here with me. I will see you next Monday. And I love you. Remember that. Ciao, ciao.